Hi, I'm Tom Fraber, Content Director for Aquatech Global Events, and I'm pleased to present this roundtable discussion here at Aquatech Amsterdam on the topic of industrial sustainability, why water reuse and recycling is key. And I'm pleased to say I'm joined by three esteemed guests here. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank on my you. right, I have Paul Royland, the Deputy Director for Business Development within Curita Europe. Paul, welcome. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Thank you. On my left, I have Toshinori Maima, the Manager of the Marketing Department within Curita Water Industries. Toshinori, welcome. And last, but definitely no means least, George Martins, the Chief Innovation and Chemicals Officer for Encrot from Portugal. Thank gentlemen, you. welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. So, Paul, I'm going to start with you. Um, to give some context before we kind of get into the circular economy and water recycling, um, how do you see sort of industrial challenges really changing when it comes to water? And where do you see Curita kind of fitting into that broader picture? Okay. Uh, due to the ongoing fast development of the water industry all over the world um, and the importance of every drop of water, uh, Curita is already in the face of making numerous changes to water treatment technology. Uh, Curita's vision is to be a creator of unique value to the solutions of water and environment and by this way contribute uh, to a sustainable society. And how do we want to achieve this? Uh, by the smart and competent management of water resources, we want to improve uh, the quality of water and uh, therefore change the lives of billions of people. As Curita, we provide uh, solutions to our customers related to water and environment. And in this way, um, we help to contribute to solve social issues uh, and by our business activities, uh, create shared value. Um, in this respect, we focus on uh, reduction of waste and wastewater, saving of water and energy, reduction of CO2 emissions, and also to improve the ratio of recycling for water and other resources. Uh, by providing uh, solutions to our customers, we try to meet stringent uh, discharge regulations for the environment and meeting the goals and targets that are set by our customers. Very good. Paul, so to pick up on some of those key themes, I'm going to switch across to Toshinori now. Um, now, when it comes to water challenges of the future, mm -hmm. people always talk about, you know, water recycling is kind of one of the, the solutions, but let's kind of drill down into an industrial setting. Mm -hmm. What do you see the kind of, where do you see water recycling, water reuse within an industrial setting and application? Okay, um, today we have increasingly um, serious water-related challenges on a global scale. Water shortage due to an even distribution, water pollution associated by uh, industrial uh, development and uh, deployment of uh, the groundwater. As the United Nations already reported in the 2019 Sustainability Report, by 2025, it is expected that 1.8 billion people will expect uh, to absolute water scarcity. And two-thirds of the world population will be living in um, water shortage conditions. In accordance with SDGs, Krita committed effectively utilizing limited water resources together with customers to conduct sustainable business activities. We provide engineered water treatment facilities for increasing um, availability of clean water. For example, Krita offers water reclamation system to save up to 50% water. Water completely recycled water is one of our goals for the near future. I think some, uh, some great benefits there, and I think 50% of water savings plus cost plus energy. You know, everyone can see the value in that. But I want to shift over to George now, because I think it's great to hear from the, the solutions provider, but now it's great to hear from the customer, the end user, particularly in an industrial setting. So, George, you're a Portuguese company involved in industrial activity. Um, and when it comes to ensuring supply meets demand, um, where do you see it? the market moving in terms of engineered solutions? Yeah, you're right, Tom. Uh, because there is a need for engineered solutions, because there is not the solution for the, for, for, for the problem. Uh, and we as a company, and we as partner of Krita, of course we need to go and to go for a portfolio of solutions that, that, can, be, that can be adapted. Uh, for that we need experience, you need engineering capability, 
in order in order to go to go for the the customer need. Yeah, of course, when you go for customers, you need for process knowledge. The, the more than, than you know the process knowledge, uh, the customer process knowledge, the, the better you can give, give the solution. But the solution, if you think in a big solution, sometimes is very difficult to apply it. So maybe it's always better to have a pen vision for the, 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 the customer and the application and also to go and to go uh, step by step. Uh, and to go step by step with the aim to, to use the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle. If you go starting for reduce, reuse and recycle, what you can do? You, you go for the customer and you go for the customer in order to identify the customer processes and where water is needed. So if you go, if you go for that, you you can go you can go also for going and studying for the, the customer the quality that they need okay and the quantity that they need and sometimes you have to to make gambles gambles with with different processes for for different different applications so uh, when you approach the customer you need to understand what is the water source what are, what are the water applications and what are the limitations of the, of, of the process. The limitations are mainly legal and regulatory because it depends on the industry, it depends on the customer, of the customer itself. So, for going for complete engineering solutions, you need, of course, to, to, to control the technology, to have the right knowledge and uh, for a complete solution, for, for instance, with equipment, with monitoring, with controlling, and of course with curita chemicals, the chemicals that are needed for, 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 for the process. Of course, this is thinking in, in a global, but thinking in a global, of course you have, and we, we have to, to speak about the, the more recent Sunbite circular economy. Like you already said, Toshinori, uh, related for water, you don't, you may never uh, think with your wastewater as a waste because there are always some value over there. Okay, George, thank you very much. I think yeah. the, the, the theme there of circular economy inevitably comes up when you talk about water recycling, yeah. particularly on site in an industrial setting. So, Paul, back around to you again, just to kind of give some closing words because I think yeah. people talk about the circular economy all the time. And I think sometimes it's perhaps misused. So within an industrial setting, give me some examples where Crete is kind of providing a water technology to enable that circular economy um, yeah. to really kind of uh, play out. Yeah. yeah, as we have already highlighted in our corporate vision, um, Krita is not only serving to our customers, but also to society and environment. It's a very important part of the philosophy of our company. Uh, our company is continuously developing new technologies, proprietary technologies that serve this circular economy. And uh, just to give some examples of some technologies that we have introduced um, is for example uh, Cetamine, which is a boiler treatment program that will save water, that will save energy. We also have, uh, for example, Curiverter RC series, which is a rejuvenation chemical for RO membranes, so that you can reuse membranes again. Um, one other example is um, um, Essencing, where we have uh, online data monitoring and control uh, that can help to, to control the processes of our customers. Thanks, Paul. So extending membrane life, kind of tapping into the digital and, and data space to really help improve and, and close the loop and give that circularity in an industrial setting. Well, uh, gentlemen, that kind of draws us to the close of this uh, really interesting panel discussion. Wish you the best of luck for your continued work and focus in this, uh, in this region and area. And also, uh, George, over in Portugal as well. So, uh, appreciate the time and insight. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You